That's Graduate Services Marketing, the assessment update. We are tracking now towards the third and final assessment task of the series. So how it's worked is you prepared a proposal, you've submitted that proposal, you've received feedback on that proposal. And I want to talk for a minute about this structure, then I'm going to talk about some feedback towards that proposal. So from there, you now have the opportunity to go out and to engage with the service product that you had in mind, that you proposed. Some of you will have found this to be a much harder task than others, simply because of the way you structured your product as being as broad, as generic, as non-committal, as whole of company experience, whole of firm franchise experience. So you're probably having a bad day at this point in time in trying to make the fieldwork analysis work with the discussion and documentation. However, for those of you who have successfully gone out, experienced the product, singular, and have now brought it home to the discussion, documentation, and the critique, let's talk about the expectations. So, it's five pages or it's two and a half thousand words. If you are in dire need of using copious images, illustrations, charts, tables, and other materials of similar nature, go the word count. If, however, you are not heavily dependent on the visual and you're just going to stick to the written, then you can make use of the five page limit successfully. Either way, appendixes don't count to the word count, but I'm going to ignore them. So if it makes you feel better, you can get whatever it was you wanted to insert into that paper and let it ride. The other aspect to the word count is two and a half thousand words and the product recap should be 10%. Now the rest of the paper is you're looking about 700 words a section. So you're looking sub 1000 words a section, you're looking 7 to 750 a section, uh, done and dust. Now, because you've only got 750 words to run one of these three sections through, no direct quotes, no text matching, heavy paraphrasing. You need to be crafting an original response, and that original response needs to integrate and draw on the theory that exists and use it. In-text citations are going to be your best friend here. They are going to be your asset because you're going to explain to me how the product is doing what it's doing in terms of theory. So what is the product doing well? That, that section, 30%, 700 words. You need to explain how it is an example of services marketing theory. When it's doing it right, when the product's doing it right, what is it doing in terms of the language of services marketing? Your next 30% comes from what improvements could be made and how to back this by theory. To make this work for you each and every time a theory exists. So let's take, say your first thing, you want to say that the product is doing well, it's doing the service quality aspect. It's a high quality product. You explain it using a services quality theory. In the what improvements could be made, it's possible that there are competing theories to explain how best to deliver. You can propose an alternate use of the theory. You could propose a change to the product. You could propose a continue to do this, but adapt to the conditions of the markets. Bring in digitization, maybe. Bring in technology, maybe get rid of technology, go old school. Do what 
seems to work or what do you think could improve, could change or modify the service and back it up with theory? This is the area I'm probably most concerned about people deciding to throw their hands in the air and go, I'm not going to reference anything, I'm just going to write stuff down and hope. Please don't do that, please reference, please give me the opportunity to give you points. And the final key here is that the critique starts with what is the product doing? What is the product doing well? What improvements could be done? And then what's your recommendation to make the success sustainable? What theory, what reference, what components, what ideas of services marketing, what aspects of what you have studied for the past number of weeks fits here to say, in order for this success to maintain, use the following theory, use the following ideas, use the following frameworks. Again, I can see this being an area where people suddenly go, oh, I could probably throw, you know, a paragraph down and say, to sustain the success, they should be successful. Don't do it. Don't, don't hurt yourself like that. Don't cut yourself short. This is going to need to be 700 words. What improvements is going to need to be about 700 words? What is the product doing well is going to need to be about 700 words. That's bringing you up to 210, 2100. You've got 400 words to spare to spread across. 250 of those 400 words are going up into the product recap. So you've got a bit of leeway to take one of the uh, 30 percenters up slightly longer than the other, but they've got to be balanced. Because if you don't balance it, all you are doing is sacrificing marks and burning marks and going, I have not met the specification. So it's going to be really quick uh, and easy for me to be able to judge whether you are game on and focused for this is if you're not balancing those three, what is the product doing well, what improvements could be made, what recommendations can be made, if you're not balancing those three, then I know it's going wrong, I know it's gone wrong, and I know that you're not going to get very many points. So please, use the references, use support and theory, balance the 30% sections, and be smart about that. Cross-check, double-check, make certain it happens. Final thing, the last due date. It is aim for submission of November the 2nd at one minute past five. This is the deadline date. Please deliver on deadline, otherwise I have to take points off you and it's late in the season and I don't want to do that. I've been very happy about people submitting assignments on time. Please do so to finalise, to finish off the subject, done and dusted, one minute past five, second of November, the subject is over for you. Please don't stretch it into overtime. So in the quick recap, this assessment task has two areas where there is a risk of failure and I don't want people to stuff it up. Please ensure that you have used references. If you have not used references, go back and do use references. And please ensure at all costs you have balanced what you put into the three 30% sections. Equal word length, equal effort exertion, equal distribution of theories and ideas. Be smart about the delivery. They are the same weight. Do not sacrifice one in the name of the others.